Good morning, Rudy. Welcome back to our installment of Scott Selections here for Wednesday, June 30th. Before we get today's play of the day, quick recap what happened yesterday. We ended up picking up a tough loss in the NBA once again with the Hawks team total under 106.5 at minus 110 on Fox Bet. Line dropped all the way to 104 once Trey Young was ruled out, and it did not matter. However, even though the Hawks were blowing out the Bucks for the entire game, we were actually on a good pace. Hawks only at 51 points at halftime, so we need to avoid 56 in the second half, which seemed pretty reasonable as long as the Hawks didn't blow up in one of the quarters. And, well, they scored 36 points in the third quarter, and they ended up finishing with exactly 110. So if it wasn't for the huge outlier quarter, we would have won, but kind of been the story of the NBA lately for us. Either way, it's been a pretty rough stretch. Uh, I'm not going to try to avoid it. I'm aware of what it is. We're on a losing streak for a couple of days and look to bounce back here with a winner on Wednesday. Now, I'm going to be sticking with the NBA for Wednesday. I know it hasn't really gone too well lately, but if we lose this one, I'm going back to baseball. There's one play I really like in the NBA, so I'll be going back to that for play of the day. And that play is going to be on another team total. It's going to be on the Suns team total under 107.5 at minus 114 on FanDuel. Time recording of 2.20 a.m. Eastern time. Couple reasons why I like the Suns team total under in this spot. First of all, Phoenix, despite being up 3-2 in the series, has really been awful as offensively as the series has progressed. Scored 120 in the first game, which is very impressive. Then scored 104 in the second game. Then scored 92 in the third game. 84 in the fourth game. And 102 in the fifth game. So once again, if you lost track of that, the Suns have scored less than 105 points in each of the last four games. That is not good, and yet their team total is currently a 107.5. Has me scratching my head a little bit. I think that's a little bit too high, and I do think you'll see the Clippers continue to play well, well defensively. But if you want to look at what the Clippers have done especially well, it's chase shooters off the three-point line, and they've also done a really good job of frustrating Devin Booker and Chris Paul. You look at the shooting numbers – Booker might be averaging a lot of points per game, but his shooting numbers are atrocious in terms of efficiency. Booker is shooting just 36.8% from the floor and just 31.4% from three in the series. Meanwhile, Chris Paul is shooting just 31.9% from the floor and just 9.5% from the three-point line in this series. So the Clippers done a great job of limiting the two main scores for Phoenix, and I do think that that will be the case once again in this matchup. Beverly's done a very good job on Booker, did a very good job of switching. And now that the Clippers seem to be going small with Zubak having the leg injury and most likely being out for this game as well, you should see the Clippers switch a lot more because of their small ball lineup, which really has given Phoenix some fits. And I do think you'll see Phoenix struggle once again offensively. But looking at the other factor in this matchup, you got to talk about pace. If you're going to be taking an under, you need very, very limited amount of possessions. And both of these teams will love to take up a ton of time off the clock. And the Clippers did play a little bit faster with the small ball lineup, but of course they slowed down after the huge 36-point first quarter in Game 5. But looking at the actual pace numbers, the Clippers ranked 16th in offensive tempo this postseason, which is dead last of all teams because there's only 16 playoff teams. Meanwhile, Phoenix ranks 15th. So these are the two slowest offenses in the entire postseason. And I do think that with these teams matching up against each other, you should see another defensive war. I think the Clippers should end up doing a pretty good job once again of holding Phoenix, forcing them into some long, difficult possessions offensively, which should result in, in some really questionable shots, either by shot clock forcing by Chris Paul or Booker, or maybe just forcing a role player to make a shot they're not comfortable with. But either way, I do like this Clippers defense a lot. And Phoenix's offense, until they can prove to me that they can actually figure out this Clippers defense, I'm going to take the unders. So the play that it once again here for Wednesday, June 30th, is going to be on the Suns team total under 107.5 at minus 114 on FanDuel. Bye, everyone.